Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiasts. Today, I got two pair of Ariats here. Now, besides them being very similar, they have some differences. The biggest difference being where they're made. Let's see how that affects them. So here I have the Creston boot and here I have the standout boot. Now, the standout boot, I've owned it for about a month and the uh, Creston, I just got it in today. Uh, I found the Creston on Facebook Marketplace uh, last Sunday and they wanted $45 for it. Um, apparently they bought it brand new or they got it brand new as a gift, didn't like boots and they just sold it to me for $45. I jumped on that deal. Now, usually I do call Ariat to find out whether the boot is made in Mexico or in China, um, as they have manufacturing plants in China and Mexico, apparently in the United States too. Now, I've never seen a area from the United States. If you have, please comment in the section below and tell me what your experience was with that. But I personally have never seen it. That would be great. That, that, that's my, that would be my first choice. But I also do love Mexican made boots. They make real good boots. Now, Chinese is just something I don't buy, uh, especially in cowboy boots. Um, but they're both $229, and you would think at that price that they would be both Mexican made, but they're not. And it shows in the quality. Now, at first, you might not notice it because they're both wide square toe, they're both ropers, um, look very similar in that sense. Even the the, the sole looks very similar, but they're different. And I'll show you every little differences that I've uh, experienced with them. Uh, so here, let me start with this one. The stitching here, this one, the Mexican made one looks handmade. And this one looks like it was machine made. Uh, the grain in the leather feels so different. This one feels like a true leather even though it's tough i mean that's how arid boots are this one feels just that much more synthetic it feels like a rough out but it's not a rough out um also the heel this one feels like a stacked leather heel even though it's maybe not maybe it's one solid piece of leather and it was you know made to look like one but they did a much finer job than this one that is just a piece of plastic or a synthetic material uh, rubber uh, painted to look like a cartoonish looking uh, piece of stacked leather. Uh, it's obviously not. Um, so also the leather on the shaft, now that's the biggest difference I've noticed. Uh, this leather here, that looks like full grain leather uh, even though it's not a top quality, I mean, uh, it's not this. Uh, even in the inside, in the shaft, this is at least pig skin. Maybe not the top end stuff, but at least it's something. Uh, this one, even though it says leather upper, I think it's, it, it doesn't feel like leather to me. It feels like some sort of uh, cloth and this is not leather for sure. Uh, this could be, it feels like suede, but it, like I said, like more like cloth. This is, this inside would get really hot. And I live in South Florida. We get humidity down here. And I know my friends in Texas, y'all get some good humidity uh, over there too. And you don't want to wear this during the summer. All right, so here's the conclusion. I've been wearing these boots this whole time. Now, the Chinese one do feel a little bit tighter than the Mexican one does, but that could also be down to the fact that I've been wearing the uh, Mexican made ones for a month and I haven't had a chance to break these in yet. But from what I could remember, these still feel a little bit better than these right from the gecko, but it has been a month. Now, as far as the insole, Ariat uses multiple different insoles that they have different names for. Uh, they all feel the same to me. 
Uh, they both feel very good. Now, Ariats are a great brand of boots. Uh, I actually enjoy wearing them for their purposes uh, at their price point. But both of these are coming in at $229. Now, besides the fact that this one is made in China and this one's made in Mexico, there's obvious differences in the quality with the Chinese one. And I understand some people do not care about buying Chinese or Mexican made or wherever they come from. It is something that I personally care about and some other do care about. But if the, if you don't mind buying the Chinese made one, by all means. But just for the sheer fact that the quality is better and you're paying the same money, just call Ariat and find out where you can get or if they are the Mexican made ones so you could get a better quality boot. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more things coming up and I'm looking forward to share it all with you. Have a good one.